Hi, I'm Amy. I'm 12 and I attend the first year of middle school. Life is beautiful and I like mine. I'm happy. I have friends I care about and who love me too. Just as my family. I have many hobbies that make me feel good, such as drawing, reading and writing. Dancing too. Every time I have my pop lessons I can't wait to go. Yeah. I sometimes feel left out and, and I can't fit in very well with my classmates. I feel a bit different, but I like it, so it's okay. Hi, I'm Amy, I'm 13 and now I'm attending the second year of middle school. Yes, I still think I'm fine. Even though I'm starting to have some insecurities that often bring me down. And with my shyness I always end up isolating myself even more. But it's okay. I'm fine after all. And I still think life is great. Sometimes, in front of the mirror in a gym's bedroom, I can't avoid making comparisons with the other girls. Both for talent and their bodies. Because mine is starting to feel different from the others too. But I'm fine. Hey, I'm Amy. Now I'm 13 and I'm at the third and last year of middle school. No, I'm not that good anymore. I dislike myself. I hate who I am. And eating is starting to be always harder lately. But I don't know why. I tend to hide and withdraw into myself more. In front of that mirror I can't even watch myself anymore. My eyes are always staring the other girls' reflections while I have mine. My sketchbook is getting full of sad drawings about TV subjects I shouldn't even know. The same I start to write about to confirm myself and feel less lonely. Because, yeah, I feel so lonely now. I still have those friends, but they don't understand. And I end up staying alone in my pain, that I still don't even understand myself. Then, I get to know the names of my new friends. They are eating disorders. Self-harm. Depression. Now my days are full of counts, lies, fears hidden by forced smiles. Everything became a number. The calories I eat, the ones I burn, weight, grades, the hours without eating, the lines I draw on my skin, where I don't care about anything else. I just need the digit on the scale to continue to drop a little more. I'm Emmy, I'm 15 and I've started high school. Those new friends of mine are more silent lately. Maybe they left me too. But I can still feel them there, ready to pop out as soon as they'll see me stagger. I'm not bad, but I'm not even good. I pretend everything's over so that I don't have to go to the therapist anymore. Because I actually don't want help. I'm trying to stay in balance, while I'd only want to let me fall back, instead of getting all up. To resume where I left, and then destroying myself. Emmy, 18, fourth year of high school. Everything got worse again in the last period. Those old friends came back to visit me, but I honestly didn't miss them. Even though I saw the opposite, and I've been the one wishing for them to come back. But maybe they just want to help me becoming better. After all, I'm losing weight again. I'm doing great at school. I don't allow me to have only a misstep. And everyone praises me for what I do. Same thing for my videos, drawings, what I write, what I am. 
and make me appear unbreakable and the others believe I'm perfect so it's okay yeah I've dropped it up some time ago because I couldn't stand my reflection anymore or concentrate I couldn't remember the moves I was always distracted and had no energy and yeah it's all become made of numbers again even more than before my head is constantly in another place always on how much I don't like myself how I appear from the outside on foot the one I can't have or the few amounts I allow me to have if I've burnt enough and then anxiety my new friend the anxiety that invades my already numerous and painful thoughts and make me lose my breath. It doesn't let me go out or do anything. It doesn't make me live. But it's okay after all. They want to help me. And that's what I want. I function well. I do many things and in a good way. So it doesn't matter if I'm only surviving. It doesn't matter if I cry every time I go to bed. If I enter into a crisis at every change of plans. If I'd like to disappear at every breath I take. Or wish I could not eat anymore. But it's okay. I convince myself of this and go on. Until I'll probably crash. And I find myself wishing this could happen as soon as possible. Hello, I'm still Amy, and I'm still 18, but something has changed now. Now I chose to recover, to take my life back, thanks to two friends of mine who pushed me to do it, and to all the others who've always been by my side. Cause now, I'm not alone anymore, and it's been a while since I'm not anymore. But I persist and is shut into my pain for the fear that other people could continue to not understand. Or the fear of appearing weak, human. But I'm not alone and I'm loved. And I promise myself that I'll start doing the same to me too. YouTube saved me. Together with all the people known in this way. And as well as I've always been saved by drawing, reading, writing. But I admit it, I was the one who saved me first of all, and I carry on doing it constantly. It's been hard, but I've been harder. I have to say it, I'm strong. It's difficult, and I can deny it. It's more the time where I'd like to give up and fall back again. But I won't give up, and I know it's gonna be worth it. No more destroying myself. No more chucking sobbings against my pillow in the dead of the night. No more counts. No more comparisons, numbers, lines. I just want to live. Travel, love, discover. The sunrise on the beach. The wind in my hair. The sun on my skin. An improvised adventure without plans. Everything is still even drawn, read, written, watched. The job I dream about, new videos, new encounters. I'm doing it for all these. I'm doing it for me. Because I deserve it too, just like everyone else. And if it always seems impossible to get there, there's always hope. And I'm gonna fight with all the strength I have to keep it on and reach the exit of this tunnel. I'll protect the weak flame until it becomes a fire that will burn the rest of the evil inside of me. I can do it and I will. We all can. I want to finally taste life that after all this bitter will be even sweeter.